stampers this is Deb Felder welcome back to my studio today I'm going to show you the cutest little project ever I'm giving these to my downline Shh, it's their convention gift and um, I just love mine it's a holder for your eye um, for your earbuds and um, you can decorate it as much or as little as you want um, but you can also use it just for um, some mints and this container that I, I took it from is um, an icebreakers container and um, so you can leave the mints in if you want to or you can just um, take them out and eat them and use them for your earbuds but it's a really neat little project for your um, to store your earbuds or to hang them on your purse or on a backpack um, they're just really kind of neat so these are a great gift to give to a, um, a student also all right, so let me just show you what we're going to do. You can make them for guys, you can make them for girls. I've got a couple of guys going um, to a convention this year. So um, let me just leave this out because um, this is actually the one I'm going to work on. And I'm going to put my earbuds in there and show you how to do it. So the first thing that I did was I had to um, drill some holes. So I went down in my husband's um, basement, and, or I should say our basement, and got his um, drill. And all you do is you just take and drill it at an angle, just like that. And then do the other side, just like that. And then once you have your two holes, um, you're set to go. Then I put um, one of these little clips in, and these are just like uh, book rings. And then you can put any kind of um, attachment to it. I use just this, what they call a claw foot. Um, so this will attach to my purse handle. So... All right, let's get started. I took some of our designer series paper and I punched out two circles. And I did that with the two and a half inch circle punch. So this is going to be my bottom. This one is going to be in the top. All I did was I, I cut this in half with our, our paper trimmer. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some adhesive on here. Now I've tried a couple of different things and the one that I like the best is um, our multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, I tried uh, Mod Podge, didn't like that. It just, it just peeled right off. I tried um, even our crystal effects um, kind of dried up and um, hardened and then peeled right off. So what I'm doing is just using the tip and you can use either side you can use this side or you can use this side um, and this one actually spreads it around just a little bit better so um, you just want to kind of get it really close to the edges and then what we do is let it um, dry or almost dry so I'm going to take and stick that one off to the side we're going to do the same thing for both of these we're going to just take them put the glue on and I should have my silicone mat, but um, it's actually being used right now, and I'll show you where it's for this project. Um, this would work a little bit better. I wouldn't be so nervous about getting close to the edge, but you do want to get it close to the edge because you don't want these to, um, to pop up. All right, now if I was to attach this to the, um, the container right now, what it would end up happening is... is um, it would slide and, and the, the glue would kind of goo out. So what I like to do is I like to let it dry just a little bit. And when I say dry, it doesn't have to be 100% dry. Just when it starts to be transparent, then you know it's not totally wet. And the cool thing about that is, is that it doesn't slide anywhere. So these have been on here for probably maybe two minutes or so. Um, you can tell. You can tell when it's ready. It's kind of like cooking. You can tell when it's done. And then see how it doesn't slide and it doesn't goo out and then here's this one right here on this side I just cut them in half and I I made them so that they um so that whoops that one doesn't even go on this one I have another one for this let's just bring this off of here I wanted it to match I took my designer series paper and I actually had them match um, I matched them up to um, the colors of the icebreakers Okay, and then here's this one. Now, your best friend is going to be these little wet ones because once you get that green glue on you, green glue, you just need something to wipe it off. And um, even if you get it on your, your papers, you can take and you can wipe it off here also. All right, so I'm just kind of patting this one down. And then I'm going to take on the back, this one, oh, by the way, I did take off the, the label that was here. On the back, I didn't because I don't need to um, cut it in half. So this one I just left on there because you're never going to see it. So here's this. And then, let's see, this one is, this one is the one that goes on here. Now this one is still a little bit wet, so you might see it slide a little bit. But this is how fast they are. And they're just such a cool little project. And like I said, um, adults like them. Um, I've made them for um, students. 
So there's that one. And then when you open it up, you just open it up this way. And what I like to do is to make sure that the top is where the big part is, because that's the part you're going to open. You're not going to open this one, because that opening only goes right here. So make sure that your holes are here so that you know that that's the top. Then we'll just um, switch it over, add this one on the back. Now remember, we already have our, um, we already have our, uh, our little um, clasps in there and then um, when you're done you like I said you can bling it up as much as you want um, this one is mine and inside here are some mints and on the inside of this one are my earbuds isn't that cute and when you go to put them in there I just want to show you when you go to put them in there just because see now they don't tangle um, what you want to do is to just take well, you probably would have to take two fingers. I have to take three. Um, and then you just wrap them around like this. Okay, and then just slide them right in here like that. And attach them and you won't lose them. Isn't that adorable? I hope you enjoyed my post. It's a great little gift to give. I hope that my downline like it. Um, if you have any questions, hop on over to my blog. I've got all of the directions over there. And um, have a great day.